Hey guys, it's December 16th. Um, we're getting ready to go out and go rabbit hunting. Um, I've got a dog that's way too impatient. She's already halfway across the field waiting for me. Um, but I lost all the footage to my last video. Um, my computer like literally just deleted and recycled everything. But So I'm going to show you guys this gun. It's a Springfield J. Stevens Arms Company. It's a 16 gauge double barrel. Um, I've been doing a little research on it and the only stamp on it, it's a little 17 with a circle. And the ones dated back that say Springfield and J. Stevens were made between 1920 and 1940. So this is a really old gun. I ordered a stock for it, um, but it's my grandfather's gun. So we're going to give it a try today um, and do a little more training with my dog. So uh, yeah, she's halfway across the field being very impatient. So we're going to get going. Hopefully we get on some fresh tracks. up in the woods um, really heavy rabbit runway right here Sophie's sniffing it right now it's real thick spruce I mean there's red pines right on the edge but it's real thick spruce I got some roads that run down through here um, real good rabbit area right here so um, I'll be keeping in touch hopefully we can jump another one like we did last time just hopefully this time she can stay on it so we'll keep in touch Starting to get some pressure tracks up in this thicker stuff. This is on the left of the field, so <clears throat> we'll see. What perspires? I mean, there's an ungodly amount of sign in here. There's a runway that goes up through there. Runway right down the middle of the snowmobile trail. It's a matter of where the rabbits are, I guess. I don't know where it was, but she jumped a rabbit the last time we hunted out of one of these two red or spruce trees here out in the literally middle of the field. And uh, so she's kind of gotten the hang already of just running in and underneath these brows and stuff, just checking when there's not sign. There's not a lot of fresh sign, even if there is any sign at all. Uh, I might have to make my way to my other side of my property down into a swamp so we'll keep you in touch right now she's still running these spruce so we'll see I mean there's all tracks you can see them or not I don't know um, but they're just no scent in them and just fighting the Playing with no scent right now, so if we can at least jump one or get a couple or see some fresh tracks, that'd be a different story. We'll keep in touch. Well, we're back to where we started. Um, not much fresh sign, so I'm going to put the camera away. The battery's about dead. I just figured I'd check in with you guys. We have not struck a rabbit. We haven't done nothing. Um, this is day one. It's Saturday evening, uh, December 16th. Tomorrow, the 17th, I'm going to have Tommy and... Stella with us, and <coughs> he's, excuse me, I've got a cough, and um, she's a little experienced, so hopefully getting on a dog that's a little more experienced with Sophie, um, she can pick up on a thing or two, so um, if you don't see me the rest of the time, we didn't shoot nothing, and you'll see me tomorrow morning, so thanks for watching guys, stick with it.
What you got, Silver? So what would you do? Do good one, Silver? Huh? Do we get a stop, Silver? Good girl, Silver. Good girl, Silver. Good girl. Good, hey. Hey. Come here. Good girl. Hey. Hey. Silver girl. Silver girl. Come here, Boris! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hey! Good girl! Come here! Good girl, come here! She didn't run the rabbit. Um, she did jump it, and she was on the track. But I let the last one go, she did that too, and I didn't get something to train her with, and I kind of kicked myself in the ass for not shooting the rabbit with my grandfather's gun. Um, I looked up, and he was running across the trail, so I took a poke at him. Uh, I ended up smashing him. Nice size rabbit, and she is going crazy. Um, I'm going to be, I will skin this rabbit out. <coughs> Excuse my God. Skin this rabbit out, and I will eat the, eat the meat. And the legs and the pelt will be used to train her. And you can tell she's going nuts. She's loving it. So we're, I'm going to try now. I'm going to put that one in my back. If she's not too excited now, because I can remember my other beagles when they were pups and they seen a dead rabbit. They almost quit. They want to just go home and chew on a leg or something. So I'm gonna, She's going crazy. She's chewing limbs. She's a killer. She's a killer. She almost jumps up there and gets it. But anyways, we're going to get going. It's getting late. Um, we're going to see if there's a couple fresh tracks in here now. I know she dropped a couple of rats in here. Thick stuff here. All these underbrush and everything like that. So, um, she's as excited as I am. I got to shoot a gun. I got to shoot a rat. My grandfather's gone. Um, and that's her favorite rabbit. She's been on. She jumped. She didn't run it. She's running one. And so, this, this is awesome. I'm so happy. Um... That's good girl, selfie. Selfie girl. Selfie girl. Hey. Hey. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Her ass. Good girl. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Um, obviously, it's taking a long time to edit this video because my editing app quit working. It was recorded December 17th, I think. And now I'm finally just getting it done. So, uh, yeah, I took Sophie out. We went rab on got one taking her a couple more times she ran one but um i do need to get her with a more experienced dog but i hope you guys enjoy this video and here's some pictures i took sophie and me and sophie and the rabbit and whatever so as always here's the slideshow thanks for watching guys subscribe like follow us on facebook and instagram and we have shirts hats koozies so get at us